Hey gang, Private Jack here and welcome to part 6 in the final installment on how to fix the materials for the various hats. Uh, we've looked at uh, the robotic boogaloo hats that were black in, uh, when we imported them into Source Filmmaker. It didn't matter what color we painted them, they still stayed black. Uh, we looked at uh, the Tough Guy toque and now we're going to look at the voodoo juju uh, and see what we can do for it to make it paintable so six parts first part we went through and we looked at the various uh, programs that we need to follow the tutorial through source filmmaker GCF scape GIMP uh, you can use Photoshop or paint.net. Uh, we talked about the add-ins for the uh, image programs uh, that allow us to work with the VTF files directly. Uh, we talked about Notepad++ and why it's a preferred uh, program for editing VMT files. And we touched basically on uh, VTF edit good program if you want to view and quickly touch up uh, a, a couple of uh, BMT files uh, but for actually editing the material files you need to have a image editing program such as GIMP, Photoshop or uh, Paint.net. In part two we fixed up the Archimedes uh, model made it paintable, got rid of all the black textures that were on it. In part three we touched on the robotic heavy titanium toque. Uh, I think it's titanium toque. can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. It is tungsten toque. Sorry about that. And part for what we did is we went through and we did a quick time lapse and fixed up the materials for the rest of the hats that I have here um, with the exception of the Juju and the uh, Tough Guy 2. Uh, part 5 we went through and we touched on uh, how to fix the materials for the Tough Guy 2 and now in part 6 we're going to work on the Juju itself. So uh, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a session of Source Filmmaker so that we have reference to the models and any changes that we make we can actually go through and see the changes. We're going to open up a session of GIMP and with that session we're going to go and we're going to get the material files for the Juju now if I remember rightly it is an all-class hat so it should be located in the all-class materials folder so we're going to open we're going to go to C program files x86 for us 64-bit guys steam steam apps common Source Fellow Maker Game TF Materials Player uh, Sorry Models Player Items All Class And we're going to look for the Voodoo Juju BTF files. Hopefully they're here. UV Voodoo Juju Hat. It looks like this is the only texture that we have or the only material that we have. The normal files, what they are is they're um, more or less bump maps and what they do is they create the ripple effect on uh, soft skin models so that it looks like the material is actually popping out away from the from the model or sunk into the model. 
So we, the one that we want is the voodoo juju underscore hat dot VTF. We're going to open that up. And we're going to go to our layers. Right click on the layers and we're going to disable the layer mask. Right click on the layers again. We're going to edit the layer mask. Right click on the layer mask or the layers again and we're going to show the layer mask. Now, what we have here is the materials for the actual juju. And looking at the materials, they don't look like they're the problem. There's no black. The, the materials are colored gray the way they're supposed to be. The uh, actual uh, mask itself is white and black where it needs to be. So I'm going to take a quick look at the VMT file and see if there might be something in the VMT file that is causing this white texture to show through. So I'm going to open that up in Notepad++ and I'm going to go to File, Open and let's back up here. I'm going to go to Program Files, x86 for us 64-bit uh, guys. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Fellow Maker, Game, TF, Materials, Models. Uh, let's see, Player, Items, All Class, and I'm going to look for the Voodoo Juju again. This time what I want to open up is the VMT file for the actual hat. Okay, let's have a quick look down through here. Okay, we've got temp textures that are usually set to zero. And we have, what else? I'm going to go off on a whim here. I'm just going to set these temp to zero and see what happens to my hat in Source Film Maker. Once I've done that, I come into Source Film Maker, I go into the console, and I type in here mat underscore reload all materials, let it whirl around a bit, if it doesn't crash, come back into the viewport and I'm going to move the playhead. Well look at that, my goodness, we actually have a gray hat. So. Now that we've got the hat turned down to its natural color, let's see if we can paint it. And let's see if we can paint it a blue color. Coming back into GIMP, I'm going to go to my colors and look at the GIMP colors here. And I want a bright blue. If this isn't blue for you, it's because I'm colorblind. Don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, come back over here. Get the uh, color numbers. Red, green, blue. So we want it 4 space 2 space 110. File save that. Come back into Source Film Maker. Go into the console, mat underscore reload all materials. Let it whirl around again. Hopefully, it won't crash. 
come back into the viewport, move the playhead, and lo and behold, look at that. We've got a blue hat. Well, kind of blue. The reason why it's not true blue is because the textures that are underlying the hat are actually gray. So let's go back here and have a quick look. Come back into the layers, look at the main layer. We could, if we wanted to, go through and actually tone these down. But looking at the hat itself, I don't really think we need to. Let's try another color. Let's try green into my colors. Come over here to green. Let's get a hmm, kind of a weird green here. A lighter green. 3, 2, 18, 41. 3, 2, 18, 41. File save that. Back into Source Filmmaker, back into the console. I'm going to use the up arrow key to run the last command that I put through. Hit enter if it doesn't crash. Viewport, move the playhead. There he is in green. I mean, I don't really think we need to do any edits to the material files at all. What was actually giving us that big glow was the fact that the temp was set way up to 50. If I set this to 10, 0, 10, 0, what will that do for us? This is a new uh, area for me. I'm not really sure what these numbers in the temp do. I have to go and read the Steam developer website to find out what these things are actually doing. So, save that. Come back into the console. Reload the materials. Come back into the viewport, and it puts a little bit of a glow on it. So those temp numbers will actually glow the item out. So I don't think we need to adjust any type of materials. I don't the only thing that we need to do is turn these uh, dollar sign color tint underscore temp numbers down from 50 to whatever. And again, these numbers here are red, green, blue uh, numbers. So I'm taking them to a one which is dark, I think. little bit of a glow on the gray. Yeah, I don't think we need to change those material files at all.
So, I think we can wrap up this series. So, in this series, what we've done is we have changed the robotic boogaloo items from black to paintable. We've fixed the tough guy toques. We've fixed the uh, black Archimedes. Uh, we've fixed the uh, voodoo juju. And I think we've accomplished everything that we wanted to do in this particular tutorial. One note here for you guys. Now that you've gone through and changed all your material files, what you want to do is you want to go through and you want to create backups of them. What's going to happen is the next time that uh, there's an update to Source Film Maker and it overwrites the TF folder in uh, Source Film Maker, your materials are going to be black again. You're not going to be able to paint them because you are going to have the original materials that came with Source Film Maker back in Source Film Maker, and you're going to be back to square one. Um, yeah, so make sure you make a backup of uh, these material files. Put them into the same folder type directories as what they're in now. What I usually do is I just go and I make a zip file and recruit, uh, uh, put them all into directory order. That way when it comes time to uh, put the files back in, all I have to do is do a unzip, it zips them all back, or it uh, unrars them or unzips them all the way back into the uh, correct folders, and I have my materials back again. The only thing I have to worry about is the items that have been added or deleted from the uh, from the update. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, any comments? Put them on the page. I think I'm way over my time limit here, and with that, we've got all the items fixed. I'm going to say, Private Jack out.